Ten years ago, iRobot brought the autonomous robot out of the industries and in the home and common life of many with its cleaner robot, the Roomba. The Roomba itself isn't cheap, but depending on the home size and configuration, it can reduce or even suppress the task of sweeping. Since the Roomba's production, the competition provided various other solutions to the public at various prices. For the higher range of price, each competing company tried to offer a cleaning robot with different capabilities. iRobot's Roomba uses a random cleaning pattern. Nito maps the room and clean it sequentially after having mapped it once. Mint uses a method similar to Nito's. During my internship, I worked on a concept that would be able to bring something new to the customer a new functionality which would be really useful and helpful. You can see in the simulation a robot that started cleaning the apartment. Notice that each time it hits a wall, it rebounds at a random angle. This behavior is easier to program and usually efficient at cleaning most of the room but it has a major defect. Let's see what happens after approximately 30 minutes, the usual duration of a cleaning cycle, with just a random behavior like the one we can find in the Roombas. This behavior tends to forget some rooms, as you are about to see. Because the machine often can sweep the wall accommodation in one cleaning cycle, the forgotten rooms will be only swept in one of the further cycles. This can take a while if the room isn't found by the random pattern movement, and dust can accumulate in said rooms. But what if you, the user, want it clean right now? Now Nito's and Min's second shell approach also has multiple defects. Because the room has been previously mapped, it can be easily handicapped by moving elements like a chair not at the same spot, or an encounter with a family dog. Making it hard to take decisions on if a room is sufficiently clean or not, or simply to behave in unexpected situations. In this prototype concept study, I wanted to demonstrate a concept that has the advantages of both approaches. The robot in the simulation starts with the previous random movement, but with a SLAM approach. It starts building a representation of the room on the go. At first, the representation isn't very useful, but after a few cleaning cycles, it is usually sufficient to have a correct representation of the living quarters area. The representation is built with BUM sensors only, which is a cheaper approach than with a collection of ultrasonic modules. This will now allow the machine to take autonomously decisions that will enhance the cleaning experience. Now that it knows the structure of the living area, it now can choose to clean the room that have been the least visited first, for example. Because the representation is being constantly updated, if some rooms are still missing, or if some elements change, again, new furniture, moving a chair, etc., the new information will be updated in one of the next random phases. The user could also to a tactile screen showing him the memory view, which is a representation of its habitat, asks the machine to clean a specific room simply by tapping on it. If a mess has been done in the dining room, for example, you could immediately direct the machine to set site that needs cleaning. When the machine is asked to go somewhere, and when it chooses to go clean a room that has not been cleaned since a few cycles on its own, it switches off from random movement mode and follow a path in non-terrain until it reaches its target area slash room. A 
possible path is created to allow the machine to not clean the same place each time it needs to go to a particular room. When arrived at destination, it will restart usual operations with random movements but will keep in mind not to wander away from the dirty room until sufficient cleaning is done. By giving more control to the user, if he wishes it, and by allowing the machine to keep tabs on what room haven't been cleaned since a while, the robot provides a more efficient cleaning experience.